Bring in for Dan Wolf tonight. Thanks for joining us. In the midst of a housing crisis in Duluth, a building that was once the St. Louis County Jailhouse, now turned into apartments, is officially open. Northern News Now's Kara Kopp heard from developers and the city how this project could help address the housing shortage. After being unused for about a decade, the St. Louis County Jailhouse brought on new life. So we have a mix of studio units, one bedroom units, two bedroom units. In a building like this, we have 33 units and we have 33 different floor plans. Leona Apartments officially opening their doors Friday. We had seven uh, units leased and we had seven families move in. We still have the balance remaining, so we have um, more units that accommodate more households. With available income restricted and market priced units. This is intended to accommodate a diverse set of family needs and household needs, especially across different economic um, levels in the city of Duluth. Rent ranges from $895 to about $1,900 for different sized units. For workers, this $9 million project was no small feat, especially after 14 months of construction to turn these rooms that once housed criminals into a home. The, the housing situation in Duluth, I think, is understood as acute. There's a really desperate need for more housing units. Developers hoped to make a small dent. So I think that will be helpful. Is it at the scale that is needed to address the issue fully? No, it's not. There's a lot more work to be done on that front. In Duluth's housing crisis. We've got space that's affordable for people at a range of um, income levels. And my sense is that there's inventory needed across all of those. So market rate and then also affordable. An unconventional approach to bring much needed housing options to the area. It's a mix of hopefulness that this becomes a part of the Duluth community. And it's a, I'll say it's the start of the next chapter for this building. In Duluth, Cara Kopp, Northern News Now. And as for parking, Elliot tells us there is enough space for every tent in the building. They also have arrangements with the city to possibly lease nearby spaces.